my beautiful Pisces. This is your reading for June. We're going to take a look at what's coming in for you. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Pisces, we're going to um, take a look at what's happening in the foundation, your finances, your career. And we're going to take a look at what's going on in love. So let's take a look. Don't forget to like, guys. It helps the karma, helps my channel to grow. If you love my energy, uh, that is great. Please subscribe if you want to work with me. Please send me an email. I am doing readings for June. I've already booked kind of, I have a little bit in the second week, um, but if you're interested, I'm booking up already. So make sure you email me and we'll get you in. All right. What is going on for Pisces? What is happening in Pisces? Pisces, a lot of shifts happening for you. Um, I feel like you're really grounding the imaginary world. Pisces are highly intuitive. Um, but Pisces have a problem is what I'm getting of grounding the energy. Um, and so let's take a look here. Yeah, you've been doing your hard work. Um, you've been, you've been really healing and coming into a place of enlightenment. Your guides are, have been all around you. I feel like they're, uh, they're activating this higher crown chakra for this higher intelligence to ground. Um, you have a lot of ideas. That's what I'm getting. That's why they're working at the top of your mind here with these, your guides and your spirit, um, your ancestors and, and God and, and, and Mother Earth and all of that. It's really bringing into a place of enlightenment here for you. Um, you're ready to jump into a portal because this is showing up. <laughs> this is really funny. I usually look at the card this way where they're like seeing the portal and rising up. But I'm really ready to see this. This came up this way that you're looking down into and you're like, okay, let's do this. I'm ready to jump in. So you're really ready for this new vibration. And because um, you've been in this energy, you've been caught. How do I ground what I know, what I see. And that's the problem with a lot of Pisces is that they get really stuck in the fantasy world. And it's like, how does this not manifest for me? And but Pisces, when you get to the grounding point in, in your life, it's so potent because you're here to create really um, bigger types of structures uh, because you're able to have a higher vision um, of connection and how spirit is guiding you than, than a lot of people. A lot of water signs have that, right? And um, it's not illusion, but you've been really frustrated with it not grounding, but it is coming to time to ground. Like you're ready to jump in. There's still a little bit of healing that's happening, but I think it's more getting um, fixated in your mind of what's reality and the actual work that it's going to take. Because what happens is Pisces thinks like, oh, I can just sit there and manifest and then the right alliances are going to come and everything's going to be great. And uh, sorry, guys, I'm still in my nightgown. <laughs> you can see I'm wearing my nightie. Um, but it's almost like, um, you don't realize like, oh crap, I actually have to write a business plan for this. I actually have to make some phone calls. I have to actually put in the brunt work. And that's what a lot of Pisces get stuck in are the fine minute details. And that's why things aren't able to ground. So the frustration of this, I believe, is moving out of your vibration in June. You're going to be able to ground things. Um, you're ready to jump. Let, let's see about this grounding energy spirit. This last. Yeah. You've kind of put a hold on certain things because you've been a little bit beat up here with this grounding energy. You haven't been able to ground it. It's been super frustrating, even though you feel like you've been ready. Spirit is like saying, we're telling you to halt because you weren't quite ready. Like you're ready to jump in. Clarify that one, Spirit. Yeah, you had to come into a deeper place of, I love this. Of prayer. I'm going to, this is for this one, as Spirit is saying. You have to come into a deeper place of prayer and guidance and to learn how to be more still because you're really ready to action and jump into that new portal, into that new world. Um, but Spirit was tempering you, okay? But they're going to bring it gradually. They know that you're keen. They know that you're ready. But look, they want you to be in this place of serenity and listen to what Spirit is saying to you, okay? Stay in this place and only move when spirit tells you to move, right? No, like rationalizing in the brain. It's like, I feel like you're telling all of these voices to shut up now. <laughs> that's what I'm getting, Pisces, and allowing spirit to bring the enlightenment in. And I think that's the practice that you're going to be coming further into in June, that a lot of the illusions are um, that you've had before are starting to um, dwindle in the sense of, they weren't illusions, I'm going to say. Uh, there are amazing ideas and thoughts and dreams and things like that, but they weren't tangible, right? We want things to be tangible in the 3D world. We don't always want to live in a 
in a fantasy world, you know, which Pisces can get stuck in. Let's take a look here. Those are the overall energies. What else is going on for Pisces, please? For Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. Make sure you look at your North, North Node, guys. I tell my clients that a lot because it's very important to know where your mission is moving and it'll tell you. Um, that north node direction what else is going on for pisces in their foundation mission work and and foundation please spirit for pisces okay so there's a lot of justice that's coming towards you. We have karmic justice that's coming here. Things are going to be fair for you. So don't worry about wanting this action and wanting to jump in. Um, there is going to be a lot of abundance if you stay in this energy. Okay, Treasure Island. It's a slow moving. Now, tortoises in the water are very quick. I've scuba dived with them and nearly got ramp rampaged by one who was swimming in the water in Hawaii. It was amazing. But they swim, they move pretty fast in the water. So... Even though uh, on the land is what Spirit is saying is a little bit slow um, and it was a little too slow for your liking, it's going to move quickly in the water if you can master this energy instead of like getting ready to jump, jump when you're told, that excited energy, learning how to temper it and only move when Spirit is guiding you by the hand of God here, okay? So this is, <laughs> this is a beautiful paradise and lots of abundance coming quickly to you if you can flow in the water and the way that the water is moving and and if you don't, it's almost like the tortoise is on land. Um, you're going to be, yeah, because it's slower on land, right? Very slow on land to, to ground. That's why you've had this frustrating energy that you've had to kind of like surrender and put your hands up and be like, okay, I get it. It's not grounding because I have to let God do it. I have to let spirit do it. I can't, I can't keep watching tarot readings all the time, right? And saying, okay, when is this going to happen? When is this going to happen? There comes a point in your energy that you're like, okay, I have to just back off. Um, nothing is manifesting and I need to let it manifest on its own. You are going to be mending bridges here. Uh, I feel like there may be some connections from the past or there could have been possible. I'm seeing entrepreneur um, investments or a job or a boss or something that you thought was lost. It could have been a, a career or an interview or a boss or something or an investor or something along those lines of people that are soul tribe family, maybe that you thought you're supposed to be working with. And they may have kind of gone off the ta off, you know, separated from you or, you know, ghosted or whatever else. But there's going to be a mending that's happening. Spirit is saying that in your community and in your tribe, there had to be a lot of different pieces that had to come together before this could mend. Clarify that. I felt like one was coming out. It's going to come a lot of peace in this um, new energy. A dove is there bringing a, an olive branch. There's going to be some type of reach, uh, uh, someone that's going to maybe reach out. And it's going to be for a new beginning because we have an egg there. Okay. So whatever this mending of bridges that's going to come from the past um, is going to happen and it's going to be very fruitful. Um, yeah, that's really what I'm getting here. And this energy that wasn't grounded that you've had to learn to surrender <laughs> is because spirit wants you to follow by the book, right? Sometimes we want to manifest and we're like, when you plant a seed, you know, we don't stomp on the seed and watch over it every day and be like, where, hurry up and grow. It grows at its own time. It grows in divine timing. And so spirit has been taking you on a journey to completely go by the book of the laws of the universe. Spirit has a higher perspective of all the pieces that need to come together. And if it's too soon, it wouldn't be fruitful for you. They want to bring you karmic justice. They want to be fair to everybody involved. And that's why your guides and everybody have been, tr you know, trying to temper the, the mind and bring you into a higher place of enlightenment. This is, these are two beautiful cards together, you know, that are really trying to bring you into something very prosperous. So, Whatever is grounding here is going to be based on spirit and divine timing. Let's pull some tarot for you guys. What is going on here for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, please, and North Node? Um, what is going on for Pisces? For Pisces, I mean, if anyone can manifest and bring um, an amazing mission down, it is Pisces. But it takes a lot to work through a, um, those visions that you get and the discernment to know what to ground and to know the work that actually goes into it. You don't get anything unless you actually do the work in the in the 3D. And that's a hard thing for Pisces because they truly believe that they can just think of it and manifest it and it's just going to show up and it's going to be easy easy but that's not that's not always the case okay Pisces so let's take a look what is this for Pisces here 
Okay, Pisces, let's pull some like tarot here and see what is going on for you. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus in, um, G in June here. What is going on with this for Pisces? So they want you to really stand your ground and defend anything that you're starting to build. So whatever you're building, whatever ideas you have, it's going to take a lot of um, standing in your authentic truth and doing it on your own. Okay, Pisces like to be with other people as well, but... If you're going to ground a high mission, you have to somewhat do that work alone with you in spirit. It doesn't just work with people show up out of the blue. You have to defend yourself. You have to defend your visions. You have to defend defend your knowing and what you know, okay? Um, this is about celebration and friendship. So this is about your community coming. And with the mending card is what I got. Um, reunions happening here. Bridges being mended. Um, cleaning up all the burdens and the frustrations that have come with some type of... Um, separation with soul tribe family um it could be a counterpart but there is going to be a mending that's happening in order for your manifestations to come in and there's going to be a lot of peace around this but things are going to have to be by the book okay this is why you've had things fail this is why things haven't been going fully in your direction or um, why you wanted to jump in and spirit was like okay pisces temper 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 we can't jump in right away we can't do that. Yes, your vision is correct. Yes, you're seeing correctly, but it's not grounded yet. You have to wait. So that energy to wait is here telling you why things have failed, um, why you haven't been victorious in the past, but it's changing come June. Spirit wants you to know. Um, we have four of wands in reverse. So there's a structure, foundations that are breaking apart. This is why, and this is what I'm getting in regards to soul tribe family and community and things having to mend before things can fully come into fruition because there had to be a breaking apart for things to finally ground. Okay. And that's really what I was seeing here. That's what I think you may have felt things were being rejected to you, but they're not coming in June. It's going to be very different. You're starting to come into this place of just surrendering and allowing spirit to bring it forward and it has to be that way because um there's a higher level of um energy that wants to ground and that's what i'm getting with this portal and it may feel like you're in the dark here but it's because this portal has to open up big enough in order for you to jump through okay so pisces because you're intuitive and um you can feel these things spirit is saying that it's um it's only because uh, you can see the new beginning happening, but it doesn't mean that you're going to be able to fit yet through that new opening, okay? It's going to be a tight squeeze until you're ready to um, go through. Spirit's making the space for you, all right? So let's see what else. I felt like I got pulled to pull these for Pisces. What energies are grounding here for Pisces? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. What's going on for Pisces? For June and Foundation and Mission Work and financial i feel like you're okay financial i think it's just a, a big shift that's happening right now you have to we have seven seven one i 77 and seven one so spirit is saying you have to focus on yourself uh, your health that will ground the energy okay as hard as it is to get back into a workout regime or changing your diet or whatever it else, whatever it is you need that physical tangible energy in order to ground those visions so it's going to be a step-by-step -step process um before the new vibration and that portal opens up large enough for you to come in because i feel it's really big pisces and it's going to be a whole different way of living so spirit saying that um in order to get to that point you have to know the, this by the book, this bit by bit, this step. Do you hear that bird? I don't know what kind of bird that is, but you need to know the step by step process. Um, it's going to be a slower process because on land, they're showing me with that turtle, right? On land, it's slow, but in the water, it's fast. So the visions come quick, the knowing comes quick, but grounding it is a little slower, okay, Pisces? This is going to be an adventure. We have five five, so. Um, this new life that's coming is going to be a lot of shifts, a lot of changes, an adventure. And you don't know where the adventure takes you. Okay? So, yeah, sorry about that. My kids all around the place. Um, so, yeah, you're going through. You have to have financial discipline. This is the step-by-step -step process. This is, you know, watching where your cash is going right now. Um, trying to make more money. Um, 
being very grounded in what you're doing right now and um because you're going through a massive rebirth in june okay uh physical activity and self-discipline so that's pisces that's a hard one for pisces all right <laughs> that that's that getting out of the who the fantasy and the dreams you've had all the visions that you needed pisces okay this is now grounding it being you know a little bit on a routine there right forcing and pushing yourself into those physical action to actually if you need to you know practice uh, an instrument that you need to for work or you need to practice a speech or you need you're writing that book you have to actually push yourself into doing that physical labor that's really what i'm getting here for you pisces okay being a little bit more detailed uh what's happening in your in your 3d world right now that's that's really important so i'm just checking the the time there on that um before we get into love here um because they're, they're really looking at um these little baby steps is is really what I'm getting here for Pisces. Um, let's take a look and see what's going on for love because I feel like it's really good. Okay, yeah, spirit, let's do a little bit more tarot because I feel it's really good. Um, it's just learning how to ground it. What else for Pisces? What else for Pisces? Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. They don't want you to be so much in the emotions anymore. Okay, no more... Um, it's too much okay so uh queen of cups in reverse it's kind of shut down the emotions a little bit let's get out of the the feeling uh learn, feeling place learn to transcend the emotional world and get more detailed and more concise and um putting an action plan is what i'm hearing yep abundance working on your stability your abundance and being in this uh, self-independent type of energy okay it's really important right now in order for this new vibration to come forth because you're in a re you're in a weird kind of rebirth place in june here and spirit is saying that's why you feel you've been feeling really stuck okay um, it's because of this. Oh, this is a hard one. This is a hard one for Pisces. I understand. I have Pisces in my Venus. So, you know, when it comes to like love and all that, I'm very dreamy and all like, oh, this is so wonderful. But it's to get out of that illusion too and know that relationships take hard work. Relationships take brunt work. Um, but when you're with a twin, for instance, you it's much easier than if you were with a karmic person um but it's it's learning how to ground and know yourself in those detailed places in a 3d sense right that's really what it is because that's where that's where you're getting stuck right now pisces it's the self-love that's coming in for you okay so that you can ground a little bit more in your finances i feel like your finances are good but you have to be a little bit more disciplined to manifest the abundance that you're looking for taking yeah you need to rest here okay you need to sit and really analyze of what you're doing with your finances what you're doing with your money and how to move through your own instability in the 3d we have the ace of pentacles in reverse with the chariot okay so where you're in un, unstable in the physical world before this new um abundance can come through is to um move and then you'll be able to move quickly then you'll be able to float you're grounding heaven and earth so that's that's the hard piece here but it's definitely happening okay let's take a look at what's going on for love what's happening for love in pisces spirit? what is happening in love for pisces i'm in rising and venus what is happening in love spirit for pisces you've had a hard go at love here pisces a lot of doubt so i think this is what's happening in the um mind space you're ending a, a cycle here okay so let's take a look to feel a little dead inside with love maybe kind of null and void right now and i think what's happening here is um you maybe have been too focused on that um it could be that it just hasn't happened and you know you really want something um to happen but this mending bridges you know can't come forward with your tribe until you start mastering this 3d stuff i almost feel like you're a trailblazer and you're bringing trying to bring in some type of um manifestation hold on for a sec so what's happening is um this dead inside and this love and all of these things um it's <laughs> You may have had visions about a twin. You may have had visions. Um, this is the pride and the ego. You may have had a knowing of your person, but um, there may be a mending of bridges that's coming with your tribe and with your person, but it can't happen until we come into this, out of this stuck place, out of the illusions of fantasy and how, and to merge those worlds. And Spirit is bringing up, like, even if you were betrayed or things didn't work out and that pain is still there, it's that detailed 
uh, pain of within ourself, Pisces, that we need to go through and work through that stuff. Putting it into cycle of your of your doubt, especially if you keep coming back to a certain person here, um, it can't quite come through until we work through our own internal doubts to manifest something bigger. And this is why Spirit is bringing through a lot of the details for you, okay? That's why Spirit is bringing through a lot of this physical activity and getting more grounded into your body, into the earth plane, because this is what's going to help your love life as well, okay? Because it hasn't been quite there, but that's because you have this huge portal that's trying to open up. It, um, there, there's this portal here that wants to open up. You want to jump in quick, Pisces. Look, I get that, but it's, it's like you can't quite jump in yet. It's not quite ready. So for that to come into fruition, Spirit wants you to do this little bit of brunt work here to ground it throughout June so that this new unfolding can happen. What's going on for Pisces in love, please, with their person or in their twin flame journey? Thank you. Okay, so this is like kind of coming together, meeting, conversing, maybe being friends. This could be part of your tribe coming back, that mending bridges. But again, it's going to be slow. It's not going to be Pisces maybe in a place of like, oh my God, he's going to come propose and it's going to be beautiful. And you know how Pisces get lost in this. The spirit wants you to get out of this queen of cups energy, right? Um, and heal those things. And spirit is saying, you know, move on. Um, even if something comes back to mend, keep moving forward. Keep going out with friends, doing you, okay? And look at other options. Look at how you want to manifest in your life. It may be that you may have to put romance on the hold, again, because this, this isn't manifesting or isn't exactly um, aligned to how you thought it was going to manifest. But whatever happens with this mending bridges, I want to get another card on that. Clarify this mending bridges here. This karmic justice is coming to you, but it just may not be in the way that you think. Um, and Spirit is saying that with a physical manifestation, it may look a little bit different. This mending bridges... Yeah, is about a heartbreak of a snake of narcissistic energy that broke your heart to rise above this, okay? And so mend that. And it may be that you're just mending it in the energies for some of you. For others, you may be meeting up as friends and just kind of being like, yeah, let's just be friends. Like, whatever, it was good. Like, I'm, I'm working on other things right now. Um, but there's definitely a hold on life, on love life right now. What is going on for Pisces? Um, because you have to ground something in unconditional love. It's unconditional love is coming for you. It's not that it's not coming. Um, there's a lot of abundance here with love. Okay. That's spirit wants you to reassure you with that a lot with love. There is something that you've been putting off in your physical world. Either you got to stop smoking for some of you. That's what I'm seeing. Others, Pisces, some of you got to stop drinking. Okay, they don't call it spirits for nothing. Okay, some of you have to stop going out and socializing and hanging out with the people that you're hanging out with. Uh, some of you have to start a workout regime. Some of you actually have to move locations because you have to move out from a partner or from a, a home that's not healthy for you. There's a phys something physically tangible that you have to do for your health here. That's what's showing up to create a more financial discipline and self-discipline. If you've been waking up and spirit wants me to bring this up, you know, spirit wants me to get up at five, 5 a.m. in the morning. Spirit purposely wakes me up at 5 a.m. to work out. I'm like, are you kidding me? I don't want to wake up at 5 a.m., but it's a thing. <laughs> and that may not be your opportune time. Things may not be exactly what you want, but spirit wants you to do it, unfortunately. That, that's kind of the step. That's kind of where I'm seeing where you're at here, okay, um, is to get into that place of just doing it and letting that ego go, especially in love and seeing how it manifests. Because there is love here coming for you, but there's something tangible that you have to do to ground it before it can fully, fully come in the way that um, is the best for you. All right, Pisces. So that is your reading. I'm sending you so much love. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially if you like this, if you want to work with me, all that info is down below and I'm sending you so much love. Bye.